Facebook ad basics. Now, there's so many things that you can cover and why Facebook ads and having your basics is important. And the reason why I, I, I harp on about it and why you need to get the fundamentals right is because it doesn't really matter if you do ads on Facebook or if you do ads on Instagram, LinkedIn, YouTube, whatever it is, the same principles apply. It's like driving a car, right? You know that you have to have your hands on the steering wheel. You know that on, depending, oh, this is for Australia, PS, don't. Don't shoot me if I get it wrong for you US peeps. But on the right hand side, you have your accelerator, right? And then you have the brake on the left hand side, or if you have a clutch, maybe you've got that as well. But everything is fundamentally the same. You can jump into any car. If it's automatic, we know that we have to put it into drive, right? We have to brake, we have to accelerate. We have indicators, we have windscreen wipers. All the fundamentals are the same. I now can drive this car. I can drive Christie's little car. I could drive a Ferrari, I could drive a Lamborghini, because I have the same principles. It doesn't really matter. Each time I get into a car, I don't have to learn how to drive. And that's why it's very important to have and understand the Facebook ad principles and the basics. Now, it's something that we call the NOC. Yeah, thank you, I'll indicate here as well. The NOC method. And there's three key areas. Now, look, we could do a 35 minute video on every single one of these, but I'm not gonna do that. Can I get shade parking? Ooh, maybe. Disabled. Well, we have Christy with us, so. Um, <laughs> right, but think of it like. Only. I'm always delivering value. Does that mean I can park there? Haha. <laughs> um, so it's the NOC, which stands for niche, Ever beauty. offer, and lastly, copy, right? The words and the way that you articulate it. They are the basics. So it's going to be now this person is rolling with the homies in there. Right, niche, offer, and copy. The three most important basics. You need to know, first of all, who you are speaking to. That's your niche. You need to have and be able to articulate your offer and why it is that people should utilize it. Then you need to be able to write that in words. They're the three fundamentals that you need to have across every single platform. Let me see if I'm parked just up here. A little bit away from people so I don't get any scratches on my car. Right, N O C. Niche offer copy. And that's the reason why. Then we'll go into the what in just a little bit. Once we get back into the office, we're going to take a look at what that looks like from a Facebook ad perspective and then how you can go in and drop some new Facebook ads. Guys, we're now back in the office and I want to cover off on now the niche offer and copy and how that all works from an ad perspective. <clears throat> so if you can see here, we have campaigns, ad sets, and then ads. Now this really well ties into exactly that strategy, understanding the basics and the fundamentals of ads. So this way it's a little bit in reverse. So your campaign is really the structure of what you're offering. Ad sets is your niche. And then ads is where you put in all of your copy all of your creative so from and i like to create shells um, so that basically you can go back and fill them in and it doesn't matter then if facebook changes if anything um, happens and you go oh where did that button go something's changed if you understand the fundamentals like i said before you can always achieve the outcome so let's look at the campaign level we'll start up there and we're going to click on create Now, as you can three, see, there's three sections. We have the off. This is where we're going to articulate what our objective is and our offer. This is going to be where we put our niche in. And then down here is we're going to identify <clears throat> and put in our copy or creative. So if you start at the campaign level, let's just say our um, objective or our offer is leads for gym. Let's just say you, do, you have a gym. Type that in, uh, obviously, with the... Uh, correct uh, layout of letters leads for gym and then our objective is well this is where we set and our offer is this is where we need to understand 
what offer we have. Are we looking for traffic? Are we looking to generate leads? Do we want messages? Do we want video views? Do we want actual conversions on our site? This is where we really need to pull all that information in and where we need to collate that information. So let's just say that we want to get leads. Right, our offer is to get leads from Facebook for our product or service. Then we need to select our page. And then this is where we select our niche, is where we talk about who we're going to target. So it might be men 25 to 35 perf. Right, so we put that in, obviously again, fixing up the, the typing that you would have there. <clears throat> and then after you've set up these buckets after you've set up these shells then you can go fill them in and that's why and that's why I mean is that if you know the objective and you know the basics you understand that you need to say and you need to articulate your offer what it's going to be you know that you need to set your niche and you know you need to write your copy you know you need to put something in you can never go wrong you can never miss out on anything so let's just say we're going to be add variant one and then we save those now we have empty shells that we can fill in Wait for it to save for your computer going slow. So now our first shell is already filled in. We said we want leads. Um, that's what we're going to get leads for our gym. All right, so then we go down to the next level, we go down to our next shell, and this is where we input our niche or who we're going to work with. And we've done a whole other video on identifying your market on Facebook, so you can check out our other YouTube videos on that as well. <laughs> Now, if we pull this section up here, now we're going to be able to identify our niche and really put that in there so that Facebook can find those exact people for us. They can go out and get us more of those people that we want. So we've already selected our page. Then when we come down here to our audience section, we can be really laser targeted. So we can see here, we've got these age, gender, so, once this loads, it's gonna let us to select and adjust this. So we can change this bracket to 25 to 35 year old men in Perth, and we're only gonna reach those people. So again, we've done our homework on our niche. We can identify exactly who we wanna work with. So we set it 25 to 35. And of course, course, we'd also be doing research. We'd be identifying who our market is, their likes, dislikes, their interests, their behaviors, all that jazz as well, we'd be identifying in here. So we have a full process we take people through called the stakeout method, or go back and watch the video that we've done on detailed Facebook targeting. And that's really gonna help you understand exactly um, who to target there. And then we can go into editing our placements, now, normally I won't do this in this video, but this is an area where a lot of people make a mistake when they set up their ads because they run ads on Instagram, on newsfeed, on sidebar, they run them everywhere and they shouldn't be doing that. They need to be really specific with how they're targeting people. So this area, normally if Facebook recommends it, probably not a good idea. Go through and edit it and set your own so that you have the most effective ad set up. And then you come down and you fill in your last show being your copy, your creative. This is where you articulate what it is that you have to offer. And as I said, this is the basics that you need to have. So any ad platform you go on to, you know that you need to do these things. You know you need to identify your offer, you need to identify your niche, and you also need to write it or articulate it um, through copy. So you can come down here and you'll be using this photo, but as we go down further, you can see that we can write in our copy. You can write in our um, our converting, you can use our converting ad template to really set up and structure an ad for success. So this is where you put in everything 
this is your copy, this is your creative, this is really where you help um, identify and articulate what it is that you're doing, how you're going to help people. So as you can see, those three key shells are the basics you need to have in any platform, let alone Facebook, it doesn't really matter, right? If you go through and you do that process properly, you're going to have a converting ad every single time. You're going to have the basics, right? Or you won't have a converting ad every time, but you'll have a ad structure every time that's going to set you up for success. So if you can just follow that system and understand your niche, you offer your copy, you take that to any platform, you'll be successful. But especially, especially, especially remember when it comes to Facebook and setting the process up like this in Ads Manager um, is going to just help you dramatically <laughs> if you just understand those three key things. So guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video on the Facebook ad basics. Now, as always, if you've liked this, please give us a comment down below. Let us know what you liked, what we can do to make it better for you for next time. Give us a like and always make sure you subscribe so you get access first before anyone else. Until next time, adios.